I want to talk to you guys about the best audiophile tweak you can make. It's not cables, and it's not something you're going to see on any other audio channel on YouTube. Hey folks, I'm Gene DeLaSallo with Audioholics. I want to talk to you guys about something serious for a minute, something that's really going to enhance your enjoyment of audio. Um, I actually discovered it by accident. My good boy, Don Dunn, get her done, Don. He was trying to help me out. As you guys know, I did a video a couple of weeks ago about my anxiety and depression, and he was trying to help me find alternative solutions to dealing with anxiety rather than doing drugs like Xanax and all those things that just make you groggy and have side effects. So he suggested to me that I go to a medical marijuana doctor and get my prescription card and look at exploring some of these cannabis options, you know, the different THC strands. You've got the uh, sativa and you got indica. Um, so I've never been someone that was a big smoker. I mean, I've, I've kind of done marijuana in the day in college a couple of times, a few times, and I liked it, but I didn't like smoking. I don't like the smell of smoke. I don't like cigarette smoke. I don't like the smell of marijuana smoke. <clears throat> and if that's something that you guys like, that's great. That's fine. That's just not me. I'm not really into that. But I want to also add a disclaimer here that if you're under 18, click off this video. I do not recommend you trying this tweak. And of course, if it's not legal in your location, obviously don't do it. Do it the right way. Do it through a medical license. But um, what I found was experimenting with these different kinds of THC chews. And this is one example here, as you guys can see. This one's actually got a pretty high concentration of THC. I think these are 10 milligram chewables. And this particular one is a sativa. And I found that the sativa strand of uh, edibles gives you more focus and it makes you more attentive to listening to music. Um, initially, I just took it for the anxiety to kind of chill me out. And I noticed my sleep was better. But Don's like, dude, you got to try listening to music on these. I was like, all right, that's cool. I'm, I'm kind of feeling that good feeling now. Let me go listen to music. And let me tell you something. When... When I put on some tunes, when I put on some Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon in 5.1, up mixed to Atmos, it was like I was experiencing the music for the first time again. Um, the fact that when you're in this euphoric state, it makes you more attentive to hearing things that you didn't normally pay attention to. And it just expanded the sound stage. I heard layers in the recording maybe I didn't pay attention to in the past. And it seems like you enjoy the moment. The moment lasts forever. So like a three or four minute song gives you the perception that it's like 10 minutes long. It's like everything just time kind of slows down. And I was really like, I never expected uh, to take audio to the next level doing this. And I do uh, talk to people that are really into the medical marijuana and they've also told me that depending on which strain you take, it really can um, kind of enhance that experience. So the initial reason why I started taking these edibles is for anxiety and, and they, they help me sleep. But I did not expect that the audio enjoyment I was going to get out of these is freaking awesome. Let me tell you something, hanging out with your buds or even by yourself and just listening to a full album when you have a nice little high going, it's better than any audio tweak I've ever done in my life. It's better than changing your cables. The only exception would be to really balance out the acoustics in your room. Obviously, that's the most important, getting your speaker set up right, getting all the stuff in your system right, but then getting into that euphoric state um, really is a game changer. And I just want to show you, I know there's a negative stigma. I hope I'm not offending anybody that's not into this kind of uh, treatment, but I really am enjoying um, using these on occasion, especially on the weekends. This is what they look like. These are edible gummies. This is a five milligram one. I used, I found the right dose for me is about 10 to 15 milligrams. And then here's another picture of, of the packet, similar to the one I have. And um, I know people, you know, they use alcohol to kind of enjoy the experience. We talk a lot about whiskey and scotch. I like it. 
but I don't like the hangovers I get. And, and over the years, I've become less tolerant to like drinking beer. I used to be a huge beer drinker. Now it kind of upsets my stomach. So I'm more into the sake or more into like a hard drink, but not a whole lot. But one thing I like about the edibles is I don't get a hangover. I wake up the next day refreshed and there's different kinds. So if, if THC is not legal in your state, they have hemp gummies. These are really good to, to give you more alertness. Um, and then these I actually found this one's low dose. These are Delta eight. This has lower, much lower dose of THC, but these Delta eights really help with my relaxation and I don't get that super high feeling from them. So that might be a better choice if you're going down this route and you want to start from the beginning. I will warn you, don't overdose. I accidentally grabbed two of these gummies at one point, thinking it was one because they were stuck together. So that was 20 milligrams. I got pretty nauseous. That, that was not a fun experience for me. And like I said, I only do these um, when I really want to sit down and chill out and listen to music or if i'm just having anxiety and i need to to take the edge off before i go to bed but what i found is if if you do these edibles uh, the side effect is it gives you sometimes it gives you a really dry mouth and then other times it makes you extremely hungry it like it revitalizes your hunger even if you're not hungry it's just what that's what it does so I'm a big proponent of not eating too much at night. I like to do intermittent fasting to keep the body fat off, especially as you age. So again, I caution you guys, go through your medical uh, pr practitioner, someone that deals with this stuff regularly, do it the legal way. Um, start small if this is something you want to do. But I will tell you guys, um, for someone that's aging like me, I'm almost 50, I'm 48 years old right now. Um, the fact that this added enjoyment to the listening experience, as you know, as you guys know, as you get older, your hearing kind of declines. So you may not hear all the details that you heard when you were younger. My hearing is, you know, good to about 13, 14 kilohertz now, which is normal for my age, but obviously I don't hear like a 20 year old anymore. But when you're on one of these and you're at the right proper dose and you're just chill and relax, especially at night, it's a surreal experience, man. I was listening to a variety of music last night and I was listening to stuff that I don't normally listen to like rap. I got in my, it opened my mind to Drake. I mean, never would have listened to that years ago, but then it really enhanced the classics as well. Listening to Genesis, listening to Pink Floyd. It was just an unbelievable experience. So I'm going to kind of do one tonight right here on the channel. And in about an hour, I'm going to go listen to some music and I'll post some images of what I'm listening to. But I want you guys to share your experiences down below. Tell me if you do edibles or if you smoke. Tell me how it's affected your enjoyment of music. And give us some tips. I want to hear about the different strains of uh, THC. I know the indica ones are kind of, they mellow you out. They're good for sleep, good for panic. But the sativa ones are more for alertness, makes you more focused on listening to music, makes you more motivated to kind of just sit there. I'm not an expert at this stuff. I'm not a medical doctor. And again, I want to share this experience with you because it's really made me enjoy the music more than ever. I also want to tell you guys about our SVS subwoofer giveaway. Sponsored by AudioVice and SVS, we're giving away an SB or PB2000 Pro subwoofer if you live in the united states i'll put the links in the um, description below please enter it please also realize that you're never going to be contacted by anyone on youtube that you won you're never going to be asked money for shipping so please don't fall for that scam we will announce a winner in july and you will be getting a phone call or an email through an audio hawks email address about if you're a winner so please check that out guys i hope this kind of um demystifies the stigma around medical marijuana or cannabis, but it is an incredible audio tweak. You get much more mileage with this tweak than pretty much any other snake oil audio tweak that you hear about. So I would really love to hear uh, your opinions on that. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at patreon.com slash audiohawks. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me if you want to suggest video topics or you want to ask questions. And until next time, my friends. Keep listening.